One of my good friends and mentors is Jay Billis of ESPN. And Jay's been a great friend for over a decade now. And Jay told me that part of his job with ESPN Game Day is he needs to go watch each team practice the day before he covers their game. So he can get some intel and some insight on what the team's going to do and really get to know each of the players and coaches. Well, back in 2010, in early December, was going to be a rematch of the previous spring's national championship game, where Duke barely escaped beating the Butler Bulldogs. It's Hayward at midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in! Almost went in, and Duke is the king of the dance, 2010. One of the best NCAA finals that we've seen. And this was a very highly anticipated rematch because it's not very often that the two teams that met in the championship play each other in an early season matchup, you know, a mere six months later. Well, Jay is Duke alum. So he decided that he would go watch Duke's practice first. And he goes over to Coach K and Coach K is talking to the Duke team. And Coach K says, we're going to beat Butler tomorrow because we have a distinct advantage. We are bigger, we are stronger, and we are more powerful than they are. We are going to beat them because we have the advantage. We are bigger, stronger, and more powerful. We will pound the ball down low, we'll get easy layups and dunks, we'll out-rebound them and we'll block every shot. We are going to win tomorrow because we have the advantage. Now Coach K is one of the best to ever blow a whistle. Hall of Fame coach, so Jay left and thought, this is gonna be a bloodbath tomorrow. Coach K just told them why they're going to win and why they have the advantage. But he goes over to the Butler Bulldogs practice and Brad Stevens is an absolute basketball savant, one of the brightest young coaches in the game, absolutely brilliant. And he's talking to the Butler Bulldogs and he says, guys, we're going to beat Duke tomorrow because we have the advantage. We are smaller, quicker, and faster than they are. We are going to beat Duke because we have the advantage. We are smaller, we're quicker, and we're faster. There's no way their big guys can keep up with us. We'll outrun them in transition. We'll get easy layups. We'll have wide open threes. We'll get plenty of steals. We will win tomorrow because we have the advantage. And Jay left that practice and thought, I don't know who in the hell is gonna win the game tomorrow. Because both of these teams believe that they have the advantage. Both of these teams have incredibly high self-awareness to know what it is that they do well and what can be their separator to give them the best chance of being successful. And here's the coolest part. They were both right. They were both 100% right. And I tell you that story because I want that to be the reason that you double down on relationships, the reason why you invest in relationships because again, they can't be copied. So your relationships can be your advantage, can be your separator, and can be the reason that you will win in whatever business that you're in.